So we'll start with the assignment number four of DSBDA lab. The problem statement is perform the following operation using Python on the Facebook metric data set where we are creating a data subset, merge data, sort data, transpose data, shape and reshape. So these different operations we have to perform using Python. So for this we'll be using a Facebook metrics data set. So for this we need a uh, Python notebook. So either you can do it on Anaconda or you can use any cloud platform to perform this assignment. So I am using Google Colab. So as the problem statement, uh, we have to perform different operations on FP data set. So initially we have to import a pandas library. So the first statement is import pandas as pd. So we are using a pd as allies. So henceforth, we'll use a pd dot and different uh, methods to perform different operations on FP data set. So after writing this statement, we'll execute this by pressing shift enter. Then after importing this, we have to import our, we have to import our FB dot CSV. So I have imported this data set in my current environment. So you have to give a path of your data set. So mention the path inside the brackets. So syntax for that is pd dot read csv is the syntax to read the csv. So our data set is in the csv format. So read csv. So I'm reading this in our data, which is my data frame. So I execute this by pressing shift enter. After executing, I'm printing the data type of this data frame. So as you can see, it is pandas dot core dot frame dot data frame. Next data dot shape will print the shape of your data set. So my data set consists of 500 rows and 19 columns. So that's why it is showing as 500 by 19. Data dot head will displace the first five rows of your data set. So as you can observe here, I can see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So here I can see the first five rows of my data frame. Data dot tell is a function to displace the last five rows of your data set. So as you can see the data set size is 500 by 19. So the last five rows are getting displayed. Data dot I lock. So data dot I lock will show you the subset or the data frame subset from a given data frame. So data dot I lock. So inside this we are passing two parameters. The first parameter is the row and second parameter is the column. So here I am passing two colon 10 comma colon. So here what it stands for is I'm, I want to make a subset where I am trying to extract second row to ninth row element in my data frame, comma, all columns. So it will display the output of this as the shift enter. So as you all can see, the output is row number 2 to 9. So if you see here 2 to 10, so it will skip the last row. So it will display to second row to ninth row and all columns. So as you can see, I have 19 columns present over here. So 19 column it is showing and it is showing 2 to 9 rows as the output of data dot I log where I am passing 2 colon 10 comma all columns. If I want to show us or condition like this, I want to show row number 2 to 9 and first column to fourth column. So in that case, I have to give a range as 2 to 10 which will display by second row to ninth row and it will display the output as first row to fourth row. So this is my first column, second column. So if you can see type is your first column. So it is showing output as this. Similarly, we have various combinations uh, for the I log. Like I can um, pass different combinations as a part of my column, uh, colon. So 2 colon 10 comma 1 colon 5, it will display. Uh, first nine rows and five, uh, four columns. Similarly, if I want to display the shape, so here what we are trying to do is whatever I log per operation I am performing, I am storing that data frame in a variable x. So x is my data frame. So when I am, I will print the x dot shape. So it will print as you can see two to nine. So I have eight rows, comma one to four. I have four columns. So what is the shape of my new data frame is eight comma four. Next is. Uh, I am again uh, doing some combinations like if I want to print 
uh, starting row that is 0th row to the 9th row so you can you cannot if you don't write anything by default it will start from the 0th row and it will print in 9th row and it will start from the 0th column here where i am not passing any parameter and it will print till the 4th column so this is the output you can see 0 to 9 and my first column to my fourth column it is showing again i want to display the content uh, as a part of my ilog operation as 12th row to the last row that is 12 to 499 and 10th column to my last column so if you can see here 12th row to 499 all rows are getting displayed and from 10th column to the last column it is displaying similarly i can show uh, if i want to show all columns only for the 12th row so i am passing this parameter this is the 12th row content which is showing all columns in this fashion similarly if i want to show only sixth column so this is the uh, combination that is all rows where i am displaying sixth column so these are the various uh, combinations of iloc you can refer so this uh, python ipynb file i am uh, providing in description box so you can refer the code from there so these are the various combinations you can refer for the iloc like 12th row to 20th row that is 19th row and 18th column similarly i can make a combination if i want to display the row from 12 to 19 and i want to select particular column which are alternative not continuous so i want to display second column fifth column 11th column and 13th column so i am give i can give combinations like this similarly if i want to make a combination of specific row and specific column so i can go with this bracket combination in square bracket that is first row second row sixth row 88th row 12th row with the combination of second column fifth column 11th column and 13th column so you can see the output of this i can see first row second row sixth and so on so forth and second column fifth column and so on similarly if you minus 12 stands for what it is displaying from last column to the first column so minus 12 to 0 it will show the all columns for all rows so all rows are getting displayed that is from my last 12th column to my 0th column if you know the column names from your data set you can directly type the column name as well so it is showing all rows only for the type column it is showing this iloc operation Similarly, if I, I can make a combination of different columns by mentioning a comma in between. So, it is uh, giving me a output as all rows that is no uh, numbers are mentioned over here. So, all rows with type like and comment column. Similarly, you can see if I want to, I can give a number with the names. Similarly, if I am giving only column names, so all rows with these columns will be displayed. So you can see 500 rows and only three columns. If I want to print the column names, if I don't know what are different column names, in that case, the option is data dot columns, which will display column names for your reference. Similarly, if I want to uh, club different uh, combinations in some different uh, in one frame, so I can do like this x dot extend range I'm providing is 2 to 21 and second range I'm providing is 50 to 70. So, these two different ranges will be clubbed together under X and can be shown, right. So, if I run this and if I, uh, then I am uh, creating a uh, subset or I am creating a slice that is X from this extra clubbed two different ranges, I am printing second column to sixth column. So, this is the outcome, yeah. So, this is category is my second column. This is my third, fourth, fifth and sixth column. So, that you are showing. So, these are the different combinations which you all can try from the notebook which I am providing in description box. So, x dot shape if you refer my original data set the dimension was 500 by 90. But now I have uh, made a new data set, new data frame where I am doing what x is equal to this five columns I am getting. Uh, stored in x so what is the shape of my new data set is all rows and five columns so if i print the first five rows the syntax is x dot head which will print the first five rows of my x data frame now next is you can apply the conditioning while creating a subset of any given data set so here i am putting a condition that from x data frame if likes are greater than 100 only filter out those records and you store it in z so, if I print the z dot shape, 
So 252 rows are there in which I have likes column with the value greater than 100. Similarly, you can combine two different conditions altogether by mentioning and. So we will see that. So if you see here x in bracket likes are greater than 100 and shares are greater than 40. So wherever I will find these two conditions true, I will filter out those records and I will store it in x and when I will print z dot check, it will print as I, 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 uh, the condition is finding 84 rows which is having likes greater than 100 and shares greater than 40. So, if you can see here, z dot shape is 84 by 5. So, see the content of that by printing the z dot head, which will print the first 5 rules. Similarly, if I want to store my output into some file, so that you can save it by z dot 2 CSV function, which will save your data frame into output dot CSV. Similarly, if you want to save it in some another format, that also can be provided. Z dot different uh, options are available like 2 HTML and etc. So, now next is, uh, different operations we have to perform is uh, now merging two data sets. So, what we will do is we will import one more data set new fb data set in our notebook. So, again I have imported this new fb.csv in my current environment and I am using pd.read csv function to read this csv in a new data frame, new data uh, variable which is nothing but my data frame. So, if I print the shape of this uh, data frame, it is 134 by 19. So, if you observe, it has 134 rows and 19 columns. So, in my fb.csv also I have 19 columns and in this new data, uh, new fb.csv also I have 19 columns. So, the number of columns are similar, only the variation is the number of rows are different. So, if you see data.shape is my original data set, fb data set and new data.shape is my in newly imported that is new fb.csv data set. Now, what we will do is, will merge these two data sets. So, for that the syntax is data dot append and new data. So, by data dot csv shape is 500 by 19 in which I am appending my new fb data set. So, this is the syntax which has been stored in my merged data frame. So, if I print the shape of my merged data frame. So, if you see 634. So, 500 plus 134. So, 634 by all 19 columns will be column. Uh, common, so those will be club. See, so now next is I, if I want to drop a few contents from my data frame, so the syntax is data dot frame dot drop, in which I am dropping uh, different columns, type, comment, and category. So axis one means I want to uh, drop the column wise. That's why I am giving axis is equal to one. So this will drop my uh, three columns. So earlier the shape of my y was. Uh, what uh, y was 19 column it was having. So, when I am uh, dropping uh, 3 columns 19 minus 3 and now the y data frame will have only 16 columns. So, 500 by 16. So, if you do not know the names you can directly give the column numbers as well. So, here I am dropping now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, I am dropping uh, these many columns from my y. So, these columns are dropped. So, I will execute this. And then when I print this, so sorry, my mistake here, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, these rows we are dropping. So earlier the rows were 500. So now my these rows will be drawn. So I am dropping 9 rows. So if you see now out of 500, I have dropped 9 rows. So now I got the 491 rows with the 19 column. So you can give a combination by providing a comma after this and you can mention columns as well. So now next we will do a sorting on our data set. So now here the z shape is 84 by 5. So what we are doing is we are applying a sorting on a z data frame. So z dot sort values. So we are doing sorting on comment and my sorting is ascending equal to false. So I am doing my sorting on comment as a descending because here we are writing ascending as false. So we are doing sorting on a comment column where I am starting with a larger value and we are going till the smallest value. So, this is the sort function is. So, next is we are applying a transformation means I am converting my rows into column, column into row. So, for that the function is z dot t which will transform your data frame into a new dimension that is row will be replaced by column, column will be replaced by row. So, if you print again z dot shape, uh, here z dot shape is 84 by 5 and now the transform things I am storing it in y. So, if I check the y dot shape it is 5 by 84. 
right so if i print the first five rows from this so you can see now my columns are on the row and my rows are on my column side next is uh, the problem statement consists of shaping and reshaping so shaping and reshaping means uh, we are uh, converting or we are changing the dimension of our original data set uh, either from long to wide or wide to long so when i want to convert my data set from or uh, wide to long so we are using z dot melt function melt function basically so we are applying this on a z data frame so my z data frame is consist of 84 rows and 5 columns so we are melting this so you can see uh, now my data set comes in a longer format right which is having 420 rows and 2 columns so i have converted my data set from wide to long format where the number of rows will increase similarly if i want to convert it from long to uh, wide uh, i'll use a dummies vary function so we'll see that so there are various combinations you can use it while um, doing this melting where i'm doing melting on a category so you can uh, provide different variables uh, do you want to do the melting on category or whether you want to perform melting on category and type so that is also possible so you will be performing as a combination of category and type melting on my z data set so similarly as i said if you want to perform from wide to long the function is get dummies so pd is my data frame dot get dummies so uh, you are pandas dot get dummies where i am applying that uh, cast uh, widening on my z data frame and which the result i am storing in y so again i have converted my long data set into a wide data set so this is a different operations we have performed that is we have seen how to create a subset how to merge a subset Uh, different data sets how to sort it how to transpose how to shape and reshape so we'll stop here thank you